Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. In today's video, we're here at Pier 8 at Aloha Tower Marketplace to check out the Star of Honolulu's dinner cruise. For today, we chose the deluxe option, which is a five-course steak and lobster menu. Let's check it out. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos like the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video to the parts that you came here for. We'll go over getting there, the menu, entertainment in the show, exploring the boat, and lastly, my review. First off, as for getting there, the harbor is about four miles or about six and a half kilometers from Waikiki. The easiest way to get there and the one that I would recommend is to take the Star of Honolulu's shuttle bus. It's $15 per person round trip and they pick up at select Waikiki hotels. It makes it super easy, worry-free, and if you have a couple cocktails on the boat, you don't have to think twice about it. If you prefer to go in a smaller group, you can also take a taxi or a rideshare app such as Uber or Lyft. I checked the pricing for Uber or Lyft and it ranged from between $15 to $25 one way from Waikiki to the harbor, depending on when you called it. If you opt to drive, they do have parking. The closest parking is going to be by Pier 5 and Pier 6. Keep in mind, Star of Honolulu does not validate for parking. While I took the shuttle bus so I could show you guys what it looks like, my friend who was coming from work met me at the harbor and she drove. Parking was $3 for every half hour. For the cruise, you'll need to have parking from about 4.45 in the afternoon until about 7.45. That's three hours. At $3 per half hour, that's $18 for parking. There's also moped and bicycle parking at no charge. And lastly, while you could take the city bus, which is about $5.50 for a day pass, for this specific activity, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. The direct buses that will take you closest to the harbor are still about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. If you do decide to do this route, make sure to give yourselves ample time, at least an hour, just in case you hit any hiccups. If you miss the boat, you have literally missed the boat. And now for my favorite part, the menu. This was a five course meal. We got appetizers, a salad, a full pound lobster, steak, and dessert. When we arrived there, the appetizers and the salad were already at our table. We were also given a champagne toast. The champagne is not alcoholic. You do get two additional drink tickets to use. Your server will show you the menu and show you which drinks you can use your drink tickets for. The lobster was delicious, absolutely delicious, and so was the steak. If you don't like steak or lobster or perhaps want something else, they do offer menu substitutions. You can sub out either option for either chicken, fish or a vegan choice. But for many substitutions, you have to let them know 24 hours in advance. You wouldn't be able to let them know the day of once you get on the boat, unfortunately. If you're booking this for 2021, you'll have too many options to choose from. You can either choose this one, which is the deluxe, and that's your five course steak and lobster. You can also choose casual, which is a three course steak and all you can eat crab legs. If you're booking this for 2022, you'll have four menu options to choose from. The first two that I mentioned, their steak and crab, which is their casual menu, their steak and lobster, which is their deluxe menu, plus two more. You can do the buffet or you can do their luxury option, which is a seven course fine dining menu. That one also has jazz entertainment on board and is the only deck on the boat that does have a dress code. So for gentlemen, you do have to wear long pants. Next, as for entertainment and the show, when you walk up to the boat, you're greeted with pier side hula, which is actually pretty cool. Once you get on the boat, they do have musicians playing, which is really nice. As the night progresses, they also do a show, a Polynesian show. They have hula, Tahitian dancing, and lots more. They also end it with a little fun show as well. If you're looking to see a little bit of hula, this might be the dinner cruise for you. For us, it was nice to just kind of get out on the water, have a nice dinner, check out a cool show, and have some Mai Tais. So the boat itself is huge. It's four decks all together. For our dinner, we were sat on the third deck, which is really nice. A lot of people who do the dinner cruise, I noticed, stayed within their deck and didn't really explore much of the boat. However, there's a completely open air observation deck, which is on the fourth floor, the very top floor. It's easy to access, there's stairs, and this boat is also one of the, actually, this boat is the only ADA compliant dinner cruise on Oahu. So if you have anybody with mobility issues, if somebody has a wheelchair, anything like that, you can still do this dinner cruise because they do have an elevator within the boat that will take you up to the observation deck. No problems or issues there. And lastly, for my review, I absolutely love this dinner cruise. I was chatting with my friend to get her take on it as well. And she 
loved it. What's really interesting is that for a dinner cruise that was serving so many people, the food came out on time at the right intervals and the food was hot when it came out. So our lobster was hot. Our steak was hot. Everything was at the right temperature, which I really appreciated. As for some upgrades that you can do, if you'd like, you can pay an extra $27 per person to do their celebration plan. That gets you a private table as well as window seating, which is kind of nice. We got that and we also got a souvenir photo. If you didn't want to do that and only want the souvenir photo, you can also purchase that when you get there. The souvenir photo that they take professionally, it's $27. As for what you can wear on the dinner cruise, it's completely flexible. You can opt to dress up or dress down. I chose to wear a maxi dress and some nice sandals. The only deck on the boat that will have a dress code is going to be their luxury option, the seven course fine dining menu that I had mentioned, which is available for 2022. And that specific one, they do require gentlemen to wear long pants. Overall, I absolutely love the Cine Cruise and completely recommend it. It's great for a date night, for girls night, for celebrations. They also even offer an add-on where you can add on cake orders if you're celebrating a birthday or something like that. And if you're curious about the Star Palooza steak and crab leg dinner cruise, you can check out our video that's coming up next. It'll be a review of that menu as well. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighbor islands. We also have a coupon code for subscribers. When you go to book, type in yes to Hawaii with two as the number two for a 5% discount on anything you book. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. If you like this video and found it helpful, definitely check out our videos down below for other activities that you could do here on the island, other things to do, hiking trails, restaurants, and a lot more Hawaii content. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Ready? Is it good? Yeah. Wait, is it on? Okay. <laughs>